David Salazar here with the Safety Guardians. If you have not already done so, please go subscribe to my YouTube pay channel, or um, it actually, if you'd become involved in our Facebook group as well, I'd really appreciate it. We give a lot of information on there, a lot of updated stuff on what's currently trending as far as defective or dangerous products that you probably have in your house or that you use often. So I want to get into this and kind of talk to you about that and uh, expand on what I mean by that by giving you certain examples. So I've comprised a list of about, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, about eight different things where you may, you have no idea, I guarantee you, but these products can be very dangerous because of all kinds of reasons. So. With that being said, let's get into it and kind of tell you. So what I've pulled so far are significant verdicts that have happened in the past, in the recent past between 2016 and 2020, and how much has been recovered because of a defective product that you had no idea, uh, or, or that they did not have an idea that was actually dangerous. So that being said, let's talk about the first one, bicycles. So is a bicycle inherently dangerous? Not really if it's used the way it's meant to be used. So if you use it the way you, it's meant to be used, that doesn't count as being a dangerous product. You have to use it in a manner to which it's supposed to be used. Well, the first thing that I have on this list is that a bicycle clip broke, meaning the, the clip is what mounts the seat onto the actual mounting of the bike so that it can move forward and they can hold the seat in place. Well, the clip broke on this and the guy actually fell and uh, broke his hip. I have actually represented people who have, ha who have had this happen before, and the injuries are catastrophic if you're going fast. Um, I had a guy who literally broke his femur and his tibia, and for people who don't know, the femur is one of the strongest bones in the body. So come to find out, this seat was actually brought here from China and made with um, below, I guess subpar metals and a metal a metal a metallurgist actually had to go in and do a study to find out that this seat was inferior to other seats on the market. That company ended up paying handsomely on this because they knew they should have never brought this product into America and he had people riding it knowing the propensity that it could break. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is electric blankets. There are a lot of people that use electric blankets, uh, especially when it gets really cold. Well, guess what? There was in 2018, a woman who received severe burns uh, after she used an electric blanket and it just overheated and basically burned her. She received second degree burns. That's pretty significant in the grand scheme of things. So let's talk about another one. Washers and dryers. Washers and dryers are extremely important and dangerous and you need to be aware of that. So a lot of times people don't understand how dangerous dryers are. So in this instance, we have a woman who had a gas dryer and it was placed on the ground. And for some reason, it caused the ignition of flammable vapors that were in the area next to it. So the flammable vapors were also being exposed and basically, basically an explosion happened and caused severe facial injuries to this woman. So that's another product that you just kind of need to be aware about, especially if there are flammable ignition uh, like substances in the area. So let's talk about one more. Let's see here, miter salts. Miter saws are dangerous regardless. These things are meant to cut things, meant to cut, cut lumber, you name it. The problem is not the miter saw as it's supposed to be used. The problem is when a faulty guard or something on the miter saw or uh, lock mechanism doesn't work. So if a guard falls off and you end up sawing your hand in half, that is a defective product. And uh, the safety mechanism on it, if it fails, doesn't mean it's safe. It just means that the safe that, that it was put there and that it failed and that it, it's actually extremely dangerous. So a couple of other ones I just want to talk about is cookers. So a lot of people use these pressure cookers um, and these pressure cookers, they're great. Like uh, I have one in my house, me and my girlfriend, we use them all the time. However, there are some pressure cookers which have a tendency to actually rupture. Um, and, and a lot of times it's because there's small leaks within the actual pressure cooker, which cause the, the item to actually just combust. Uh, or there's actually no air allowed out and it, it does the actual opposite and it just explodes all over the place. And there is a woman here who received third degree uh, burns when a lid blew from a pressure cooker. So a lot of this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, you just have to be aware of. Uh, you'd be shocked if you look at any common household item and you check and you just put in the word recall behind it. Uh, and you'll see a lot of times these things are actually really dangerous. So 
The last one we have here, and this is a product that's used, and I guess this can kind of go along with the bicycle aspect of things, is ATVs. All-terrain vehicles are dangerous no matter how you look at it. Largely because a lot of children ride all-terrain vehicles and they ride them fast and they have no idea how unstable these things are. So most people don't even realize, if you look up an ATV recall, there are tons of them out there. Tons of them for all kinds of reasons. I encourage you to look yourself because it's ridiculous how dangerous ATVs are and how they can actually be legal for minors to actually ride. It's, it's, it's crazy. So just keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of different aspects. We're gonna talk a lot about this in the future and we're gonna keep giving updates on this in the future. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. If you have an item or product that you believe is actually dangerous, let me know about it. I wanna tell the group about it and I wanna do some research about it to make sure that's what it is. My name is David Sal. Salazar. This is the Safety Guardians and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see each other soon. Thanks.